CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Graham Swan's grandmother has uh, been talking back home and she says, you nasty Australians have caused Graham Swan to retire. You haven't been very nice to him. What, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, next question. Sorry. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. no, I thought I'd stop it. Uh, but um, approach for this game, I mean, you're looking obviously to make it 4-0. Oh, this is one of the uh, biggest occasions for us, a uh, uh, Boxing Day test match. Um, there's been talk about a world record crowd, uh, which all our guys are, are very excited about. Um, and, and we just want to continue to improve on, on what we've started through the summer. So it's, it's obviously it was exciting in Perth to, to wrap up the series and we enjoyed that the way we should. Um, but now it's business as usual and, and trying to, to keep better and, um, and make sure we, we continue to improve as a team. On Graham Swan's retirement, what, what's your reaction to that, doing that mid-series? Oh, Graham's been a, a great ambassador for cricket. He, he plays the game in, in the right way. He, his record has, has been outstanding for England. Um, and he, he was always a real character to, um, to, to play against. Uh, he was tough out the middle and he always had a, a one-liner now and then that put a smile on everyone's face. But he enjoyed the game for what it is, a, a great game. And, yeah, he enjoyed uh, every test when he, he um, was a part of. Um, you've obviously played in losing Ashes teams before. You've had a, a long, you know, state and international career. Um, is this the absolute sort of peak of your career? Oh, you yeah, it's something I wanted to do. I've been on the the wrong side of a of a number of Ashes um, campaigns, and and the feeling in Perth to to finally win one was was amazing. Um, and and we enjoyed it the the way we should. Um, there's a few guys that have we've been together for a while. Um, Sids, Johnsons, Harris, Wattos, we've, we've never been a part of a win, winning campaign. So it was a pretty special moment in Perth. But as I've said before, we, we've got plans where we want to take this team um, and uh, we'll, we'll, show, we'll show the same fight we, we had from, from day one um, for the rest of the series. What do you know about Scott Borthwick? He played at my grade club. Uh, he got a duck second ball, I played, and he got a wicket in his first over. I don't know. That's all I can tell you. We only bowled one over and he got the wicket. Brad, um, do you see this team as having the potential to get to number one in the next 12 months? Oh, that's a challenge that's been put to the group. Um, and, and our staff have have made it pretty obvious where, where they want to go. And from, from the group's point of view, we know where we want to go as well. So that's the path we want to take. Um, and a lot of hard work has to go into that and, and at the moment um, we're doing all the right things to, to do that. Um, but that was the same as soon as we started this campaign in, in Brisbane. Um, there's a good feeling and the goal was clear where we wanted to get to um, and we've got a lot of hard work to get there. Was that the challenge put, put to you by the coach? Oh, that, that was a challenge we've, we've come up with ourselves and, and the whole group with our staff and, and the players. Um, we want to challenge ourselves to be the best cricketers we can be as a group and, and we hope that that end results to, to be number one in the world. Now, Brad, um, Jeffrey Boycott in, in his column said it seemed to him, I know you got that smile. Um, it's Christmas, I'm happy. It, uh, it seemed to him that England hadn't worked out Nathan, Nathan Lyon, um, and particularly with him coming around the wicket to the right handers. You've got a, a ringside seat to what Nathan's doing. I mean, what, what's your opinion of what he's doing and, why, and what he's doing so well? He's doing a wonderful job for, for our group. But well, obviously there's, there's four bowlers out there and, and he's, he plays a big part in that, um, making sure he's, he's bowling his overs to, to give our um, quicks a, a rest. And, and he's take, taken a lot of vital wickets throughout the series at, at big moments. Um, so he, his record stands for itself and, and he's a massive part of, of uh, the attack um, going forward, even though the fast bowlers don't talk to him too much because he's a spinner, but he fits in okay. With um, uh, you guys obviously targeting Graham Swan, with him gone now, um, is it important now to switch your attack to, to Monty to make sure that their, their fast bowlers uh, keep getting brought back into the uh, attack quicker than they'd want? Uh, I'm not going to second guess who they're going to pick. Um, they, they could come up with a number of options, but we'll, we'll have a, a, a look at it to, tonight on, on um, scenarios we think can happen, but our approach won't change um, moving forward. No, I was going to ask you. He's, I was going to ask him to second guess him. So. No worries, Barry. Last question.
Brad, you sort of addressed this a couple of minutes ago, and you said that you know the team is always continuing to, to try and improve. But is there a chance, given the collective age of your team, that it's at the peak of its powers right now? That it's Maybe. Um, but that's that's something that the, we've challenged ourselves to to continue on the road and, and keep challenging ourselves to to be um, better cricketers. There, there's a lot can be made of age. Um, if we talk too much about age, I wouldn't be standing here. I've been told on a number of occasions I'm too old. Um, so it's not something we, we think too much about. If you're performing and keep challenging yourself to to be a better, um, the best cricketer you can and, and contribute to this group moving forward, we're, we're comfortable with that. Age is not something that the players or anyone worry about.